Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. If y'all are this long, people should click the link in the description down below and reply to my comment because I comment under this video and you should reply to my comment right now. What's good, everybody? It's Destin Choice. You're watching Choice TV. So I'm enjoying my nice little vegetarian meal. So long story short, I'm going to give my thoughts and opinion about this whole Zunia or Zania. I'm not sure how the fuck you say her name, but I just know she got kidnapped, allegedly kidnapped, according to her family. I mean, if you're not guilty, when I, asked, when I DM'd you, I said, hey, James, tell Nia to call me or send her home. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't even respond, but you love and care for her? I know you're with her because Brianna texted to Nia. To, or texted to Imaja. Said she's fine, she's with her boyfriend. That's why, Brianna, you can't even hang out with my, my daughter because you fucking scum in the fucking earth. Add us right now and show us you're okay, then we'll leave you alone. I will today. Do it right now. No, do it right do now. It right now. I will today. We do look right like now. shit, Nia, and we'll still post because this is fucking James. What you gonna do, a hog tie her up? Will you retire to a chair and put a gun to her fucking back? Give me back my fucking daughter, you asshole! You piece of fucking shit! Y'all know Nia would hop on, hop on live. This is some bullshit! Oh, uh, uh, how, about, how about you You go ahead and uh, um, set a request and, 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 and live us right now. Set a request, Nia, right now! Live us right now! Right now! You piece L of shit! Live us right now and show yourself if you're okay. I already communicated with them. I'm, I'm gonna be posting screenshots of everything because this is so rude. <laughs> They're mad because I officially start standing for myself. <laughs> this group is fake as fuck. <laughs> it is apparently kidnapped by her boyfriend and apparently her boyfriend's manipulating her putting bugs in her ear and if you don't know who Nunu is Nunu was a part of a YouTube duo with her sisters all three of them have a YouTube channel called Sorority where they do music playlist videos I never really found their videos entertaining I'm subscribed because they're pretty and that's about it now all this shit did not need to be bought on social media the crazy thing is this was started by her mom. Now, as you see in this video, you see her mom's going off, her mom's going insane, saying shit like, how fucking dare you? Don't put bugs in my daughter's ears. That's not Nunu. Her boyfriend's taking over her social media, thinking that her boyfriend's just running everything and just ruining everything. And I'm just blown away that her parent, her own mother and her sisters are bringing social media. I think this all could have been avoided had they simply just let Nunu do Nunu. I understand that's your daughter and I understand that's your family member. No matter what, y'all gonna protect her no matter what. But bringing this on social media was way too far. You know what they could have done? They could have simply pulled up and beat somebody's ass and just grabbed their daughter and snatched that bitch and put her in the fucking car. That's really what they could have done. And now the whole world knows that they're a dysfunctional ass motherfucking family. And Nunu had to go on live and respond and say things like they're delusional, they're doing all this fake ass bullshit, this stunt just to make me come home. Thank you. I had no problems with them. Thank you for everybody being positive right now because it's exactly what I need. I love her mama now. I love her sisters now. But we knew, uh... Shut up, James! <laughs> oh, you want to get a good out the group, man? Shut up. Shit. She decided to pack her shit and go with her nigga, James. In case y'all didn't know, her boyfriend is named Little James. He's actually a rapper. I listened to some of his music, and I wanted to hate it and drag him so badly, but his music is actually pretty decent. But apparently he's known in the industry. He knows other people in the industry. He does shows. He's a rapper. He does a ton of things. So, I don't know if this is a, he wants to use Sorority for her money thing, but he's a little bit irrelevant, so maybe he's trying to use it for her clout. Who fucking knows? So her family's going on this huge round on social media saying she left us to be with him. We're so upset. Nunu is being controlled. She's being manipulated. He won't let my daughter go home. Bring my baby back. And I'm just over here like, okay, Nunu's on live stream. She looks perfectly fine, but according to them, Nunu doesn't talk like that. Nunu's, Nunu's acting out of character. She doesn't really act like that. She's actually full of energy. She would have been smiling if she was happy. But how do you expect her to be smiling and full of energy when y'all bought this shit on social media? Y'all put this shit on social media and y'all expect her to be all, <laughs> yes, oh my God, they're exposing me for clout. Like, you expose, you expect her to be happy as fuck? Hell nah, she's going to be mad as fuck. She's going to be crying. And of course, she's not going to show her face. And the fact that all this has to be public is some other shit. 
Now, Nunu says that her, her mom, her parents, her sister, they drained the fuck out of her bank account. They took $5,000 out of her account. Let's go to my mom DM since she want to delete everything. She had turned my phone off, but I was in such danger. Oh, your phone is back on. Saying stuff like this when he doesn't even do any half of this stuff. Don't come knocking on my door because you'll be dead to me. Good luck. I'm 18. I left because I wanted to. I did not run away. If you aren't home by 6 p.m. this evening, then you have made your decision to never come back. They deleted the missing persons post on Instagram. She says she's 18. She says she's not run, run away, which I agree with her. She's technically not a runaway because she's 18 years old. Yes, she lives with her parents, but she decided to pack her shit and leave. And there's nothing the police can do. So I figured because there's nothing the police can do, she figured, okay, you know what? There's nothing the police can do. I'm going to bring this shit on social media and embarrass everybody. Now, this is where she fucked up at. She decides to say a lot of things like, oh, he threw my daughter's shoes away. Oh, he said he's going to throw her away. Oh, oh, he, he's hurting my family so many times. And to me, it looks like this. It looks like Nunu found a nigga who showed her a lot of morals and love and respect. And this happens to girls every fucking day. Nunu's probably making a stupid ass mistake. and Her mom probably sees this mistake. Obviously, they said that they don't like this guy that Nunu's with. But at the same time, you have to understand that Nunu is 18 years old. She's a fucking adult. She has to learn shit on her own. I understand no matter what, family's gonna protect family. Oh, you know, when you're a mother or a parent, you'll understand. Parents, you can't protect your kids from everything. Take notes. You cannot t protect your kids from everything. Nunu is a fucking adult. She's 18 years old. If she makes a, a fucked up mistake, a petty mistake, if she ends up falling for a guy who ends up dropping her for the next fat ass, let Nunu learn that on her own. No need to go on social media, embarrass her, try to get detectives involved so that she can come home. She made a decision. She made a choice to pack her shit and get the fuck out. All right, that's cool. You know what? understand Nunu's grown. She's gonna do what she's gonna do. At the end of the day, everyone has a misconception that Nunu's unsafe. People are giving her boyfriend, Little James, a lot of backlash because they think he's kidnapping her and manipulating her and beating her ass. And I'm like, where the fuck did all this shit come from? All they simply said was, he's manipulating my daughter, he's hurt our family, this, this, Baje, Blaje, a whole bunch of nonsense that they obviously don't have receipts by. And Nunu is showing receipts that her family is, is threatening to disown her if, she, if she's with this nigga. Oh, they're threatening to sell her clothes and drain her account. And Nunu has showed messages and receipts that her parents are, are and her family is like threatening to do all this shit. And it just has to be like, whoa, like... Family ain't shit at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I don't care what nobody says. Don't do that whole, oh, family's all you got. No, at the end of the day, family don't mean shit a lot of the time. Obviously, she loves her family. Obviously, they love her because they wouldn't have done all this stuff. But at the end of the day, you're embarrassing Nunu. And Nunu said that she's not happy in the group. She's not happy, you know, doing music. Because kids, y'all already know, she also does music with them. She's also been doing music with them for years. And she made it clear that she wasn't happy and it was fake. And this whole smile that she has on is such a facade. And she's not interested no more. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if Nunu went solo. I think Nunu was very very talented. I think she's a good singer. So I wouldn't be surprised if she went solo. Honestly, I see it like this. A lot of these people who are on social media broadcasting their lives and stuff, it's draining. It's overwhelming as fuck. When you have a public platform, when your relationship and your family is public, it's draining. It's overwhelming. You constantly have people in your ears telling you, oh, go solo. Oh, you don't need them. Oh, you don't need this. This industry is dirty. And little James' image is also on the line because she said things like, oh, he also threatened her brother. And this is why James got even more backlash. Fucking family over here. He's trying to control her. He's been controlling her. Yeah, we're sorry, didn't he say he was gonna beat you up or something? He did say he's gonna beat Tell him, tell him, tell him. First time he FaceTime me. I swear to God, if I see James in real life, I will beat his ass, bro. I'm Mars, bro. I swear to God, give my sister. He needs to give my sister right now. Right so, now. You, you love her, I Saya? swear to God. You love her, Saya? I swear to God. I swear to God. God. If you don't give my sister, I swear to God. I swear to God. Because Nunu's brother. 
got on live and he also ranted and started screaming and saying, oh, he's gonna fuck him up if you don't bring my sister back. And I'm just like, whoa, you doing that custom right for your mama? I'm, I'm surprised she, mm, never mind. I'm like, whoa, like this is a little bit too much. This could have all been handled off of social media. Most of the comments under this bullshit is, why do they keep this shit off social media? Why are they bringing this shit off social media? And I agree, why the fuck couldn't they keep this shit off social media? Why the world gotta know? Shit like this happens every day. Every other day, a bitch finds a nigga that shows her more love and support, and this bitch ends up being blinded. Dick is blind. Bitches get blinded by dick all the time, and I think Nunu should learn for herself. Being a woman is one of the hardest things in the world. But at the end of the day, when you come across a guy who shows you love, moral support, and who's treating you right, and is there for you and when you feel alone it happens to a lot of women at the end of the day when women come across a man that's obviously doing a lot for them they feel like it's just them against the world they feel like that guy is the only person that they need they feel like their family don't know nothing but at the end of the day i think nuna should do what's best and probably listen to her mother she doesn't have to stay with her parents but at least let them know that you're safe but to me it kind of seems like nunu's family are control freaks because she said that she's finally sticking up for herself and now all of a sudden they're going crazy and it's like hmm where did this come from like are y'all control freaks are y'all honestly trying to control this girl like to me it seems like nunu's mom is the control freak it seems like sandra nunu's mom it seems like she's the control freak because y'all making it seem like james is controlling her but at the end of the day i mean no one can do anything no one can make you do anything that you don't want to do like i'm pretty sure he didn't hold the gun in her head and say oh my god get your ass over here you fucking bitch like i'm pretty sure he didn't do all that shit so, Nunu, if she wants, she can just hop in an Uber and fucking leave. She claims y'all took her money, and she claims that she can't get home because y'all took her money. They say that they gave the money back and put all the money back in Nunu's account so Nunu could be safe and secured and all this stuff. But they said they only took it the first time was because she was excessively taking Ubers, which doesn't make any sense because it's like, how do you expect her to get around? Like, do you expect her to fucking walk everywhere? I mean, they said, oh, she's excessively taking Ubers. Why is she using her money if we're taking care of her? And I'm like... Okay. Little James, anyone, man, anyone see him with, you see Nia, call the police. Or She would have just told me, I'm fine, mom. You're going to go a whole week and not say nothing? A whole week? No, she's not fine. He's controlling her. He's controlling her because we, we reached out. Did you not reach out to him, sire? Say, tell my sister, call me. Did he respond? No. This is too much. It seems like it seems like Nunu's parents are the controlling people. It seems like they're control freaks. It seems like they're the ones who are sucked into this lifestyle, this money, this fame world, to the point where they want Nunu to be with it. But maybe Nunu isn't with it anymore because it's too toxic. Maybe Nunu isn't built for this life. I know at the end of the day, some people are going to say, well, that's her family. You can expect them to walk away. They got to be there no matter what. At the end of the day, your family can't protect you from everything. They can't protect you from everything. You grown. Like, y'all had Nunu y'all whole life. Y'all got y'all own lives. All y'all grown. They had Nunu their whole life. Y'all grew up in the same house with her. Like, she may be your baby. She may be that girl that, that will never go away because she's family and she's blood. And y'all, like, have this bond. But I understand where Nunu's mom is coming from when she says this is toxic. This isn't going to end well. Because at the end of the day, 75% of the times, mothers know everything. 75% 75 of times, mothers know it all. They know what's going to happen. They know this, this is going to happen and that's going to happen. Because mothers have been through it all. When it comes to having kids and being a grown up in their household, mothers have been through it all. So I'm pretty sure Nunu's mom knows where this will lead to because this happens to most women. This happens to probably every woman. They get blinded by dick, they're in a toxic relationship, and they end up being blinded and they can't hear anything anybody's telling them. It goes through one ear and out the other. I just feel like Nunu's parents, family, they're a part of the problem. Y'all had, had Nunu y'all whole lives. Y'all gonna have to just let her, y'all gonna have to like set this one out. Y'all can protect her, y'all can be there for her, but y'all can't try to control her and say, no, we want you under this roof, in this house, right now, you can't stay with him. At the end of the day, she has y'all numbers, y'all related by blood, I'm pretty sure she'll always be welcome in your home, but y'all made it seem like she won't be welcome in your home, so I don't know. At the end of the day, let her learn from this. She'll learn from this. If this is fucked up and this is ridiculous and she doesn't even need to be in a relationship and this guy is treating her like shit, she'll learn from this. She will. She really will. Because you can't... Like, at the end of the day, those who don't hear will feel. If you tell a five-year-old not to put their hand on a burner on the stove, they're not going to listen to you. They're going to do it anyways. And once they touch it, they're going to back away and never do it again. 
For those who don't hear, will honestly feel. And I think y'all should let Nunu feel because at this point, she's not hearing y'all. And obviously, there's no point of arguing and trying to bring somebody down because they're not hearing you. There's no point of arguing with somebody and trying to belittle or control somebody who just doesn't get it. But that was that for this video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Give your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Tell me what y'all thought about this video. And yeah, that's that. Choice out this bitch. You gon' be sick to your stomach. Hit me when you free one eight hundred. It's emergency, call me nine one one. It's right now I'm out here tryna find someone. The ring on my phone, ring on my finger. You acting like you ain't tryna do either. What's a good girl? Watch me turn diva. Here goes my heart.